The Employee Free Choice Act is about the future of uh, working Americans. It's about the future of the union movement. Uh, people are going to try to make it out that you're all against uh, the secret ballot vote. That couldn't be further from the truth. I'll tell you what I'm offended by. I'm offended by that the fact that they would bring Karl Rove in to talk about this issue, and it's not a respectful dialogue that they're seeking. They're trying to stir it up. I spent 21 years of my life working as the director of the Labor Management Council to promote cooperation between labor and management. And yes, there are differences of opinion between labor and management, but there is a respectful way to disagree. So I'm offended, I guess, that peace and tranquility just wasn't, uh, wasn't good enough in Peoria. We just worked together to pass the uh, Build a Block project down on the riverfront. That was labor management and the business community working together. For years, the leaders of organized labor and, organize, and, and labor leaders have talked about the importance of a sanctity of a secret ballot in organizing, not only here in the United States, but around the world. And so for us to reverse that course now, we think is not a good thing. We think it's very un-American, frankly. What was the purpose in bringing Karl Rove here, and, and was he, uh, or was it you know, an, an event, a sort of fundraiser for your organization? It is a, it's a dual purpose coming here. One of them is to inform people, particularly the business community, how we believe that this is a bad piece of legislation. And secondly, to get the business community engaged in opposing this legislation, engaged by personal and corporate activism, and also to raise money. The chamber had uh, agreed to publicize the event for their internal reasons, they decided to withdraw that support. It's not a question of controversy, it's a question of debating an issue that is in the public realm and coming to a conclusion. Would this make it easier for unions to form? We're, we're not opposing. That, 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 that's what the unions are, are saying, and say, hey, you're, this, this is going to make it easier for unions to we're form. We're not opposing unions. What we're opposing is injecting the federal government more deeply into the business of the private sector. Part of the rationale here is, is that unions in the private workplace nationally is about 9%. It has been dropping dramatically over the last 20 years. And so the leadership of organized labor at the national level see this as a way to attempt to reverse that trend. 